Today's demo will show how Hortonworks Data Platform, also known as HDP, is used to analyze sensor data to maintain comfortable building temperatures. A sensor is a converter that measures a physical quantity and transforms it into a digital signal. Sensors are always on, capturing data at a low cost and powering the Internet of Things. Sensors are used to monitor machines or infrastructure, such as ventilation equipment, energy meters, or airplane engines. This data can be used for predictive analytics to repair these items before they break. Or sensors monitor natural phenomena, such as weather patterns, underground pressure during oil extraction, or patient vital statistics during a recovery from a medical procedure. For today's demo, we will focus on sensor data for building operations. Specifically, we will monitor the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, also known as HVAC, in 20 large buildings around the world. Sensors in each HVAC system wirelessly transmit temperature data. We will combine that with other data to maintain comfortable indoor environments and minimize our heating and cooling expense. We will load, refine, and visualize the sensor data. We load sensor data on the target and actual temperatures in our buildings. It flows into the Hadoop distributed file system, known as HDFS, via Apache Flume. We also use Apache Scoop to import structured data on our HVAC units into HDFS. Think of this as our data lake that contains years of data on our heating and cooling systems. Let's begin with how this data loads. Here we can see some of the sensor logs flowing through Flume into HDFS. We're capturing target temperature and actual temperature for each building every minute. Apache Scoop is a tool designed for efficiently transferring bulk data between structured databases and Hadoop. We will use Scoop to transfer our company's building database table into Hadoop. Throughout this demo, you will see us process the data using our Hortonworks Sandbox. You can download this from our website. HCatalog renders both the unstructured HVAC sensor logs and the structured building data in Hadoop. For HVAC, we can see date, time, the target temperature, the actual temperature, the system identifier, the system age, and the building ID. For building, we can see the building identifier, the building manager, the building's age, the HVAC product, and the country where the building is located. Now let's refine the data. We want to visualize the sensor data to accomplish three goals. We want to reduce heating and cooling expenses. We want to keep indoor temperatures in a comfortable range between 65 to 70 degrees. And we want to identify which HVAC products are reliable so we can use those brands to replace the unreliable systems. First, we will identify whether the actual temperature was more than 5 degrees different from the target temperature. This Apache Hive script projects a structure on the raw data. We can see two new attributes in the H catalog table. Temp range tells whether the actual temperature was normal, within 5 degrees of the target, or cold, more than 5 degrees colder than the target, or hot, more than 5 degrees warmer than the target. If the temperature is outside of the normal range, then extreme temperature has a value of 1. Otherwise, it has a value of 0. We want to combine the HVAC and building data sets. We can do that with only 14 lines of Apache Pig code. Hortonworks Data Platform has an ODBC connection to Apache Hive from Excel, so we can use Excel 2013 to connect to the data in HDFS. This will bring up the list of tables, which we can access directly. We'll select the columns we need from the HVAC Buildings dataset and import those into Excel. Just like that, our data is ready for visualization. Now we will visualize the data with maps and graphs, looking for information on which buildings most often have extreme temperatures. Let's visualize the data. We'll begin the data visualization by mapping the buildings that are most frequently outside of the optimal temperature range. We will pick the right data elements and then draw the map. We can see that the office in Finland had 473 sensor readings where the temperature was more than 5 degrees different from the target. By contrast, the German office is doing a good job maintaining temperatures, with only 196 readings outside of the ideal range. 
Some offices run hot, leading to employee complaints and reduced productivity. The Finnish and French buildings run hot most often. Other offices are too cold. This results in elevated energy expenditures for the company and also employee discomfort. The Finnish and Indonesian buildings run cold most often. Just by managing our buildings, we've gathered data on the performance of five brands of HVAC equipment, distributed across many types of buildings and climates as different as Finland and Saudi Arabia. With this data, we can assess the relative reliability of the different HVAC models. We can see that the AC1000 seems to regulate temperatures most reliably, while the FN39TG produces extreme temperatures about 9% more often than the AC1000. With Apache Uzi, we can schedule a recurring job to periodically refresh the HDFS data lake with the most current data on our buildings. We've shown only one use case for how HDP can store and analyze sensor data. Because our facilities department had real-time access to massive amounts of temperature and other types of data on HDP, we reduced energy expenditures and improved employee comfort. But all of our data is still there in our HDP data lake. We can refresh it frequently and access it to optimize our building's performance in other ways. You can get started analyzing your own sensor data right now with the Hortonworks Sandbox, a single-node Hadoop cluster that you can load to your laptop for free in 15 minutes. Go to the Hortonworks website and start playing in the Sandbox.